In this video, we'll know how to multiply matrices in Python program. Specifically, we'll confirm our solutions from the previous video are correct by using powerful tool which is Python program. Here, from the previous video, we got this answer for multiplying these two matrices and also we got k equal negative 1 for the second question so if we put negative 1 here and negative 1 here we multiply these three matrices we must to get 0 of course you can use many programs or website to confirm your solution is correct and they have almost the same way to write the code which I strongly suggest to you to make sure your solution is correct every time. I will link the previous video in the description so you can see how we have multiplied these two matrices or how we got this k. As you can see here, we have here Spider IDE, which is a powerful IDE for Python program language. IDE means integrated development environment so the more intelligence that an ID contain the less hard you have to work to write better code I'm using spider IDE because it almost similar to MATLAB and of course you can see here I have changed the background it was black I've changed it to white also it is so easy to download it now let's write the code here first we have to import numpy you can see here num then pi pi it's mean python num it's mean numeric or numerical so numerical python or numeric python i have already installed it this library after i had downloaded the spider ide i will call it numpy as np so for the short name for numpy i called it np now let's write the first matrix here a equal np dot which mean numpy then array which for i write matrix then open bracket then close bracket here this close bracket for the beginning of a matrix now I will write the first row here, then I will write comma, then the second row here. Then I will close this one. As you can see here, I, I wrote here curly bracket. No, I have to write closed bracket. Now I will close the bracket, then I will close the open bracket. Now let's write the first row here, negative 2 then 1, then 3, then for the second row here, I will write it here, 0, 5, 2. Now let's go at the end and press enter. So we have already defined A here as this one. If we call here A, I will get the same as this one. Now let's write B to multiply these two matrices to get this answer. If it's correct of course b equal np dot array open bracket close bracket for a matrix then press enter then the first row here then the second row here then the third row here then i will close this bracket here then i will close the open bracket now let's write the first row, 4, 9, then the second row, 3, 6, here, 3, 6, then 7, negative 2, now let's go at the end and press enter, now we have defined B as this one, let's see if it's correct or not, 4, 9, 3, 6, 7, negative 2, now let's multiply it like this, I wrote here the symbol of at here so just like this and press enter we got the same answer as you can see now let's confirm 
this if we substitute k equal negative 1 we will get 0 but here let's call this one as a1 and this one here this matrix as a2 and this one here as a3 so we have a1 a2 a3 so we will define a1 like this one first we have to define k equal negative 1 as you can see I put without array without anything because it's only a number now let's write a1 equal np dot array open bracket close bracket then enter then the first row we have only a row so we only need to write only just this bracket now let's close this bracket then let's close the open bracket now we will write k11 k comma one comma one let's go at the end then press it now we will write this a2 a2 defined a2 like this so np dot array open bracket close bracket then the first row then the second row comma then the third row then close the bracket for the matrix then close the bracket for this array one one zero one one zero here one zero two one zero two zero two negative three zero two negative three let's go at the end and press enter so we have a1 a2 a3 so now let's multiply these three together so a1 multiply here if we multiply matrices we put this the symbol of at then a2 then at a3 As you can see here name a3 is not defined so we forgot to define a3 so let's define a3 a3 which is this one equal np dot array open bracket close bracket then the first row then the second row then the third row we have to close the bracket for the matrix then close the open bracket here k then one then one let's go at the end and press enter now let's multiply these three matrices together a1 multiply a2 multiply a3 As you can see here, we got zero, which is one by one matrix. We got this number here, the same as this one. As we defined it also here, we have only one by one zero matrix. That's it. So we have confirmed our solution from the previous video that these answer here this one and this k equal negative one are correct which i suggest to you to confirm your solution every time if you have any comment or anything related to this video let me know in below in the comment thank you and see you in the next video